As legend has it, Canada used to be covered in a thousand-year-old ripe pines that would tower upwards to the heavens. Their tall, strong, and straight trunks would lead to their demise as the British sought them out to use as masts for their navy ships. Alongside the white pines were the slightly smaller red pines that would later be cut down to be used as hydropoles. Was it really true that we cut all these majestic trees down? Here before you is one man's crest to see the last remaining old growth red and white pines in the world before they're gone. Got the final bag. Doing the final hike from the car to the beach. Just about ready to set off the uh, trail in. Driving in was a little more rough than the uh, walking trail you see before you. It's quite rugged. Thankful for the four wheel drive of the Subaru Outback. Just setting out. Start of day two here. Just setting out on my uh, Mogami backcountry experience. Got the canoe all loaded up. Lake Tamagami is a big lake. I'm only on the Ferguson Bay area. Luckily the wind is nice and low. That's always a plus. But I gotta say the first few strokes out here with the overcast days and the chill in the air. I don't know why I'm doing this. I kinda wanna go home. Ferguson Mountain over there. Portage should be somewhere in here. Is that seriously the portage? That's how I was supposed to find it with that little teeny red tape that's no longer there? Some parts of the Napoleon Trail are really nice. Others it's really rocky and difficult. The rocks are really slippery right now. Uh, there are uh, the very steep section at the beginning, which was really difficult to get the bag up with all the red rocks. I had to get on. I had to use every leg arm I had to get up it. And we'll have to see if I can get the canoe up it. As you can see, here's your really challenging rocky sections. Napoleon's portage done. On to go through the lower narrows. Super shallow, but finally, we got some sun on the north arm of Lake Tomogamy right now. Just trying to paddle across as fast as I can before boats come on the sharp rock inlet here at Lake Tomogamy. See, I gotta create a, another big stretch to get through to get to uh, out of this wind that I'm going straight into. Okay, there's the portage. Apparently you can just go this way over the beaver dam if the water's high enough, so let's see what happens. As you can tell, I wasn't able to paddle hard enough to push my canoe over top of the beaver dam. So and this is my least favorite part of beaver dams. You gotta get out, stand on it while it's sinking, and uh, try to push the canoe over top of it, uh, which always results in lots of scratches. The portage from Sharp Rock Inlet to Diamond Lake is rather rocky. This is what you gotta walk all over. And then your entrance into the lake landing isn't very nice either, it's very rocky. See how the white pines just stick out because they're so damn tall? <laughs> Here we are at the first campsite I can find on Diamond Lake. I'm gonna have lunch and think about my future plans. I think there's a storm coming. The search for the old growth red and white pine stands continues. Here at Opaka Park. All right, we're staying on an island site. Not something we usually like to do. We usually didn't think there'd be enough wood. But there's wood. Nice little fire pit. Nice view. I think I should get the uh, sunrise. You can see it's already getting dark now. It's 4 p.m. Bathroom. I guess I'm gonna have to put the hammock back there because there's not a lot of spots for uh, the hammock. It will be in a couple years, but not today. A new product I'm trying out here is from uh, Soul Leader. 
That is a windscreen. See? Comes with this uh, nice case. Seems like it would do the trick. That's not much to it. Today we're trying the Santify black beans and rice. Looks good. A little spice corn, black beans, and red peppers. And rice. Hmm, pretty good, I like it. Got a mountain ash. Beautiful sky. Gonna be an early day tonight. We're not quite sure if we're gonna go to Waka Wamakimaka or uh, go to Bob Lake or even Spirit Lake. Time will tell.